subgenre of FNF mods that has a lot of hate towards them is Pibby mods. Ever since the original reveal of the Learning with Pibby trailer on Adult Swim, the FNF community has had an infestation of Pibby mods, becoming one of the many things to smite originality from Orbit, with many mods having notoriously bad art and extremely bad music, as well as obscuring certain mod adaptations. I seriously dare you to find a chromatic for Finn and Jake that isn't a corrupted version, though it hasn't all been bad. There have been a few Pibby mods that are of high quality, like Cartoon Network Takeover or FNF Pibby Corrupted, and the topic of this video, Darkness Takeover. Darkness Takeover is one of the most underappreciated mods I've ever played. Even though almost every FNF fan I know likes it, I feel like it isn't getting enough love it deserves. This mod changed a lot of the Pippi formula for the better, and I always think of this mod to remind myself that not all Pippi mods are bad. And I want to explain why I feel that, and give you a good reason to go play the mod when the video is over. Starting with the story. The story of Darkness Takeover goes like this. One day, Boyfriend ended up in Quahog, the town of Family Guy, and not alone as the corruption follows him to Quahog. Boyfriend tries to get to the Griffins to warn them, but ends up making the corruption chase him, corrupting the town in the process. Eventually, he finds the Griffins in their car, but they end up getting corrupted, though Brian and Stewie were able to avoid joining their family. Then Boyfriend finds them, and then the mod begins. And during the song, A Family Guy, Boyfriend is thrown out the window, and Brian and Stewie are left to fight alone, and Brian gets corrupted. After escaping, Stewie goes up to his room to defend himself from Brian as Peter joins in, but then is somehow ejected from the corruption. Then is confronted with his corrupted wife Lois, filling him with regret for corrupting his wife. Stewie is able to teleport away right as Lois attacks him, though Peter is left with Brian. Then, off screen, Boyfriend was able to come back and save Peter as they run from the corruption in the song Death Lives. Meanwhile, Joe and Quagmire are fending off against a corrupted fusion of Peter's evil twin Retap and their friend Cleveland. Quagmire shoots them both several times, which ends up saving Cleveland. Then he is teleported to the heart of the city to fight Stewie in the song Twinkle, where he fatally injures and partially corrupts Quagmire, though he's able to free himself despite losing his right arm and save Stewie. Stewie then teleports himself to a safe dimension to reside in. After that, Peter joins the remaining survivors to escape on a plane, though they are held up by Ernie, the chicken from the common family guy chicken fight gag. He almost corrupts Peter twice, but Quagmire is able to stop him and save Peter. They then all make it onto the plane and successfully escape Quahog, but not danger, as Cleveland's corrupted son, Rallo, snuck onto the plane and successfully corrupts Quagmire, setting the plane on fire and causing it to crash. While there is more to the story, I won't cover it here since the mod doesn't get that far. This is a story of regret, fear, and chaos, and it's portrayed phenomenally through the Midsong events. And this is the only mod I know that tells this story in that way, which is a whole new level of cool. And while I think it could have shown more, I think as is, it's still a great story. Next, I want to talk about the songs themselves, and why they're all bangers. The songs from this mod are some of my favorite baby songs ever made. Starting with A Family Guy, I think this sets the perfect tone and atmosphere for the rest of the mod, and it shows how dangerous the scale of the corruption is but more on that later. And musically, the song is fantastic. I'm gonna love the rest more, but I'm always gonna like this one. Then, Rotten Family is an amazing song with important story bits and nice references and great music. Fashion Values has a fantastic, creepy and intense atmosphere at the start and grows in intensity as it goes. Probably the best song in the intro week. The first song of part two is Death Lives, and it's spectacular. The constant threat of the corruption mechanic, the amazing music, Death himself being corrupted, all around a really good song. Then there's Twinkle, and I love this song so much. So many cool events, so many good musical moments, and so many good animations. It might be the best song in the mod. Not my favorite, but the best. Finally, on part 3, Final Fight, while not much happens in it, it has a lot of memorable moments, and is a nice send-off to the Family Guy chicken fight gags, and being the only one where Peter doesn't win. Also. Remember Quagmire's Arm. A really great song in general, what can I say? Then there's Airborne and- Wait, what the fuck?
I cannot begin to describe how much I love Airborne. I literally listened to it while writing this video. So many emotional visuals with the vocals and so many amazing moments. Let me give you the rundown of what happens. It starts immediately with a big duet from Quackmire and Joe, the two who saved Cleveland. Then Cleveland sings with his now corrupted son. Then Peter solos. Good shit. After some duetting and soloing moments, we start to see Quagmire corrupting because of his arm, as well as a corrupted shadow start to form behind him whenever he sings. Then, he gets taken and corrupted, leading to a slow, almost calm segment where everyone shows regret for losing Quagmire. And when it's over, we'll get the best moment in all of Kazoo Mods. The flame engulfed plane, the chromatic of corrupt quagmire, the intensity of the instrumental, the build up to it throughout the story, etc. All contribute to an epic, balls to the wall, greatest moment in all Pibby mods, and make it my favorite song in the mod. And now since I've talked about all the songs in the mod, I next want to talk about my favorite aspect of the mod, the art. The Art of Darkness Takeover is easily the best part of this mod. From the animations to the mid-song events, the aspect of the art that I love the most is how it portrays the corruption. It portrays the corruption as the constant threat that it is, and if you are caught by it, it takes full control of your body and turns it into a twisted, horrifically mutilated zombie it can control, to either spread itself or try and kill anything in its path. But there is a way to fight it. From multiple songs and story points, we see that it is possible to escape the corruption, whether by shooting it, or because it takes your body and not your soul, so your soul can take control back. We see also from Quagmire's Part 3 sprites, that a small bit of it can latch onto you and replace a lost body part, at the cost of corrupting the person slower. Anyway, I think my favorite corrupt design is the Stewie forms. I love how they gradually show Stewie getting more and more corrupt, only for him to push through and escape it, with it desperately trying to keep him in his penultimate twinkle animation and the cool cameos in the background are a delight to see and spot the various characters that appear. And finally, I think the mod's frequent use of silhouettes doesn't take away at all. In fact, the opposite. The times it does use silhouettes always enhance the moments they're used in. And that's why I believe Darkness Takeover is the best Pivy mod. I hope this video has been an incentive to get you to play the mod. Pivy mods are almost always hated on, and I want this mod to get more of the attention it deserves. And I hope this video gave you an incentive to support my channel too. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.